Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of our Charlton season. Um, if you joined us from last time, welcome back. If you didn't catch our first episode, go back and check it out. You will see how we began our season. We opened with the opening game of the season away at Sunderland. It was just an absolute sublime game of football uh, by Charlton. We ended up winning that 5-0 and couldn't be happier at the start uh, that we had. As you can see on the left hand side of the screen at the moment there's our league table currently for League One. Quite a lot of goals in the uh, in the opening weekend to be perfectly honest. So uh, we're currently sat first in the table with Fleetwood Peter uh, behind us scoring 4-0 uh, wins each in the first weekend. And then Portsmouth, Scunthorpe and Shrewsbury uh, finishing off the top six there. We've got Shrewsbury Town today as our first game of the episode. That is our opening home game as well. So we'll be hoping to, to give the uh, fans a little taste of what they may or may not have seen last weekend away at Sunderland. So, heading over into the game. Obviously, like recent forms, way too early to tell. But we're hoping to take last weekend's uh, incredible victory into this. As you can see by... Um, the tactics, the expected tactics by Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury are very defensive in this. Four at the back, two in front of them, and then three in the middle. I mean, we'll have a look in a second at the proper, the actual confirmed lineups. We're slowly but surely getting players back from injury as well, which is, has been a major issue so far for us. Um. We've just we've we've just been sapped by injuries so far, but we're getting there slowly. We're getting these players back in for us. I see we've still got people with. Oh, it's difficult to know what to do with them. We'll test him out. Here. We've got enough players on the bench now to be able to make some better substitutes if need be. So, here's our lineup for the uh, the game then. So we've got uh, Taylor up front on his own. Fosu and Ward just behind him on the wings. Aribo and Cullen behind them in midfield. And then we've got Bellic in front of the back four of Page, Pierce, Saar, Solly and Steer. Shrewsbury have lined up with one at the front as well. Um, they've got three sat behind him but a lot deeper than we've got. So they're preparing for an onslaught really, hopefully. That's what we're we're aiming to get um, and they've got four at the back and then ending with Coleman in goal so once again it's a little bit early we want to tell the players that we really need to win we want to be pushing for promotion the players want us to to get automatic promotion and um, the board want us to get automatic promotion that's what we're going to be trying to do and that, that will be a brilliant start to get two wins out of two So, we're the ones that are kicking off. We really are hoping to be able to carry on that good form from last weekend. With Paige on the wing, got our first corner already. Less than a minute in. Jamie Ward to cross the corner in. And cleared away by Shrewsbury. No, oh, we've taken the first shot and no, the game's not on target. That's something we struggled with last weekend. We had an awful lot of shots, but barely any on target. That's something we're hoping to work on through training. Um, so far, we've slipped down to third at the moment as Warsaw and Peterborough have currently taken the lead. We've got Fos on the ball, Cullen. Good pass out to Jamie Ward, who had a good weekend last weekend. We're again cleared by Shrewsbury. Um, only Forrest Pierce though. Bellic. Back to Pierce. Out to Saar. That's one thing we were good at last weekend as well was keeping possession. Um, Chris Solly. And then Cullen. Just blocked there by Cullen. Bit of a slow start this one I think so far. Another corner at 22 minutes in. Uh, it's just over. Goal kick to Shrewsbury. One shot on target so far. We're getting the pressure through corners, but we're just we're just not making anything from these these efforts so far. 
as you can see there, six shots on target to shoot, uh, six shots, sorry, uh, to shoot with one, and then only the one on target after 26 minutes. So Page with a throw out to Bellic, a rebo across the across to Solly. That's a good save by Coleman there. Another corner so far. So far, quite happy. We just need to be turning this pressure into something now. Through his first corner. And what we don't want to be doing here is conceding. But it's a good. I know it wasn't a save, sorry, just missed that just wide. So we're dominating possession at 58%, 40 minutes in. Well, unfortunately, heading into half time by the looks of it at 0-0 uh, at the moment. A bit of a slow start. Um, I think we will be bringing on Carl Grant, who had a brilliant game last game against Sunderland. Although he was suffering with a training injury midweek. And that should be half time there. There we go. So 0-0 at half time. Not too bad, but not, not really good enough at the moment. We'll get the assistant to take our uh, our team talk. And we'll set it up like we did last week with Lyle Taylor on his own, uh, on the wing, and then Carl, Carl and Grant up front. So it should be to kick off the second half. They had a decent start as well last, uh, last weekend. We've just dipped down to fifth at the moment in the league, uh, just above Shrewsbury here in sixth. So all other teams that are currently winning um, the second game so far. So two out of two for them. Oh, we're just off the crossbar. We're hoping that's not going to be how uh, how our game plays out so far. We don't want a game of uh, woodwork incidents. Corner taken quickly to Cullen. Oh. oh, there we go. And we've got a penalty. 56 minutes in. We've got our first penalty of the season and chance for our first goal of the game here against Shrewsbury. Score this and we should go back top of League One. Oh, and the keeper saved it. Unbelievable. Out for a corner though, 56 minutes in, we've still got time to up this pressure. Out to a rebo. Taylor out to Bellick. Oh, I don't know what he was doing there, just, just messing around on the ball there. 60 minutes in and we're still not making enough shoes we've only had two shots and none on target so far so they're not they haven't been much of a threat but we, we just haven't made the most of our chances so far as you can see they're 14 shots but only five have been on target i think we ended the sunday game with 25 shots or something like that out to page from the throw and back out to grant Oh, brilliant effort by Cullen. We just, just give him the top of the crossbar. Eighty-one minutes, just, just the ten minutes to go. We've got to be careful here, not doing anything silly at the back. Steer, run, oh my God, steers running it right out here. He's obviously wanting us to get something out of this game. Out to Pierce, then Bellic. Back out to Cullen. Our tempo's just died down a little bit at the moment. Out to Cullen again. Back to Sars. Just, just, just need to pick it up a little bit. Arebo, Cullen. Back out to Saar. There's no real urgency from us, it seems, to be getting anything out of this other than a point. And that's not the mentality we want to be taking. Um, whilst at home, Carl and Grant just heads that over there. Eighty ninth minute at the moment, nineteen shots with six on target, sixty percent possession. It's been a good game in that sense of controlling. We've just we've just not made anything out of it whatsoever. Quite a boring game, really. Missed the penalty. Um at the start of the second half which could have given us all three points at this bit 
but that's looking like it'll be full time there. That is not bad, still 100%, no winning, uh, uh, no losing uh, record at the moment. Um, but we're heading to Brentford the next game for the Carabao Cup. We'll try and line up as strong as we possibly can for that. But ultimately it's going to be our league performances that we're, we're looking to uh, mainly work on. So there are the other results in the league this afternoon. So Coventry beat Wimbledon 2-0. Blackpool won 1-0 against Portsmouth. Bradford and Barnsley drew. Bristol Rovers and Accrington Stanley drew one all. Charlton and Shrewsbury obviously drew 0 nil. Doncaster beat Wickham one nil. Gillingham two one against Burton Albion. Sunderland only managing a point away at Luton. Fleetwood away at Oxford they won two nil, taking them to the top of the league. Southend beat Plymouth four one. Peterborough won two one, sending them to second. And then Warsaw beat Scunthorpe one nil. So we are going to jump ahead to uh, Wednesday uh, for our Carabao Cup first round tie away at Brentford. We'll see you in a second. So we've jumped ahead to our first round cup tie uh, in the Carabao Cup away at Brentford. Made the short cross uh, across London for this uh, away game. We're hoping to perform better than we did Shrewsbury. Nil-nil draw there. But... We'll see. Obviously a very tough, very strong championship side. But they've, they've, they've had a brilliant start to the season. They drew their first game and then they uh, lost their second game. So as you can see on the left-hand side there, these are the expected tactics that they're likely to take. Um, we'll jump in and we'll see what they've actually taken now. As you can see, our injuries are slowly getting less and less and less. We're much improved and our players are starting to understand our tactics a little bit more. Hopefully they're giving us a bit a bit more quality in the finishing. Obviously the game against Sunderland, the first game of season 5-0 was just a complete anomaly. Um, and we won't be looking to perform that every game. But here we go, they say we line up then. So we've got Grant Ward and Taylor up front again with a rebound Cullen behind them. Prattley sat in front of the defence of Saar, Pierce, Bellick, Solly and Steer. Brentford line up with Ben Rama, Sacco and Canos up front. McLeod, Yanaris uh, in the middle, pretty much the same as us. With McCochran, Barbet, Memphis, Genevieve, Dalsgaard and David Bentley in goal. So they, they've lined up very similarly to us, or we've lined up similarly to them. Um, so it'll be an interesting game altogether. We'll get the assistant manager to take the team talk. Obviously, the players aren't that interesting. What I've got to say it doesn't seem at the moment. So there we go. Charlton to kick off on quite a rainy uh, evening in London. One thing we have got to do, we, we haven't got an issue with taking shots, it seems. It, it, it's just making those chances pay. We really, really struggled against Shrewsbury. Obviously, we missed the penalty, which would have been um, a golden opportunity for all three points. But... Uh, it's something we'll work on throughout the season. Obviously, we've still got too much time to say how we're going to end the season and how far we're going to get in Cups, etc. But we want the strongest possible start, really. Um, and we've done that so far. Good cross there uh, by Ward. We're just collected uh, nicely by David Bentley there. Corner taken by Arebo. And that's missed by everybody. Cullen's got the ball in the penalty box. Out to Pierce. Back out to Cullen. We just need somebody to whip this ball in, really. Prattley. It's just to earn it. We're, well, I mean, we're going backwards. That's not what we want. We need to get it out quicker than that. And get Prattley to... Oh, I, don't, I don't really know what Prattley's doing. He's got options either side of him, it seems. But he's not, not looking, not taking those options. But the ball's out on the wing with Solly. Cullen to Taylor. Solly to whip across in. Oh, oh yeah, and there we go. 1 0 Charter, and it does seem like it's an own goal. Yes. Genevieve, own goal. I think it was Grant that hit the crossbar. And as they tried to clear it, we'll have a look now. As they tried to clear it, he seemed to put it into his own net. Cross whipped in by Solly. Yeah, it was Grant. 
And then he's, as he's tried to clear, he's just put it into his own net. We'll take that though. 1-0. Away from home. Um, against a championship side. We, we, we can't argue with that. So Brentford with the throwing in their own half. We don't seem to be pressing as much as we were against Sunderland. I don't know if I've changed anything uh, too much. But we seem to be lacking that, that counter. A good save there by Steer. Keeping us in front. We seem to be lacking that kind of counter when they're attacking. And then pressing when they've got the ball in their own defensive areas. And good save there by Steer. 17 minutes in. We've yet to have a shot on target. But we have scored through that own goal. Uh, just under 10 minutes in. So Taylor with the ball making a good run. Needs to have a think about doing something though. Cullen's kept it in but gave, giving it away. Pierce with the ball there in defence. Intercepted that. He's, he's got to decide what to do with that quicker. Taylor on the ball to Rebo. Out on the wing to Solly. He's having a brilliant game so far. Jamie Ward. Oh good save there. Another corner 20 minutes in. Jamie Ward to take the corner. Does it short to a rebo? That's a good cross, but cleared just out to Prattley. He's back on the ball now. A rebo. Prattley, who seems to have a real obsession with going backwards in this game so far. Now nah, nothing comes of that. So twenty-five minutes in, we have our first shot on target. We're just watching Brentford here with a. Fantastic free kick, but a brilliant save as well by Steer. We haven't done too badly defensively so far. We haven't actually conceded yet. Um, Steer hasn't didn't have a great deal to do in the Sunderland or the Shrewsbury game. Grant on the ball. He hasn't got any support up with him at the moment. A rebo to Cullen. Back to a rebo. Back to Pierce. Out to Bellick. And all the way back to Jed Steer. Who gets it back out to belly? I don't really know what, what we're trying to play at here, but we're taking our time. Good ball up to Grant. And Jamie Ward. Cleared again by Brentford. 35 minutes in. We're doing well. We're getting more shots uh, at goal. Just, we've still only got that one on target at the moment. Oh, Brentford are feeling fired up at the moment. So we can send our own team instruction, I think. Or well, actually, we'll send our own shout, rather. We'll be expecting more attacking. Um, Brentford haven't really troubled us so far, so... Don't really see why. They were a good save there. Don't see why we can't push up more and expect to win this now. And it's looking like we're going to go into half time. Two minutes added on at the end of the first half. Looking like we're going into uh, half time with the 1 0 lead. We'll take that. We'll, we'll go through to the second round of the uh, Carabao Cup. It's all a little bit money, isn't it? Good save again by Bentley from Jamie Ward's free kick. And the first minute of extra time has been played. It's been a very, very slow game. And then linked with the Shrewsbury one, just two very slow games where you look at the exciting game we had against Sunderland. Oh, good save again by Steer. You look at the exciting game we've had by Sunderland and then we've had two games that have been quite slow to get started. We'll hopefully be expecting a uh, more exciting second half as Brentford push on to try and get the equaliser as well. So there we go, half-time, 1-0 up away at Brentford. And get our assistant to do it again. Anybody? There's nobody that needs coming off at the moment. Maybe Chris Solly, but he's uh, been a, a brilliant game so far. So we'll get back out to the second half, keeping with the same team. Brentford to kick off. So Canos is on the ball for Brentford. Out to Unaris in the middle, intercepted by Charlton. Again, nothing comes out of that for us. And the one thing we are doing really well so far this season is, is possession. 
Again, we're at 60%, which we, we kept around about that for the Shrewsbury game. It's just we don't seem to be making anything out of those chances. Uh, any chances out of that possession, really. So, Brentford with the corner at 60 minutes. Uh, Brentford, we've cleared it halfway, but McLeod picks it up. And nothing comes out of that for Brentford, fortunately. 70 minutes in now, we're still 1 0 up. Jamie Ward with a free kick. And straight into the wall there. We'll look at making a sub in the next five minutes, hopefully. Jamie Ward with another free kick from the same range. And straight into the wall again. I think that free kicks are might be free kicks and penalties are on the agenda, I think. We scored a cracking free kick in the Sunderland game, but missed a couple of good chances here from free kicks and uh, penalties as well. So it's Joe Rebo was exchanging for uh, Ben Reeves. Looking for people in the, in and around the seventies really. Josh Cullen put some slightly more attacking with Tarek Fosu on for Josh Cullen. I know Josh Cullen's playing a little bit further back. That might hopefully give us something. Brilliant ball through to Grant now. Through on goal. Oh, good save. Oh, and he's missed it. 75 minutes in. Our chance to go 2 0 up there, and he's put it wide. We've got the corner. And ah, there we go. There's Prattley. Oh, no, it's been disallowed. Right, 77 minutes in. Two brilliant chances there to go 2 0 up. It hasn't quite gone our way. We just need to defend now. And there's Brentford's equaliser on 77 minutes. We had two fantastic chances before that. Lyle Grant. Uh, Carl and Grant, sorry. And a wonderful opportunity to put us 2 0 up, and that would have been allowed. And then we had um, Prattley. With a chance, and he scored, but it was disallowed for pushing another player. So, we had opportunities there to go 2 0 up just before Brentford equalised. So, just under 10 minutes to play now. It is 1 1. We've got one more change, and we'll hold on to that just in case it goes to extra time. Um. I'm not sure how well or what, what type of penalty takers we've got. At the moment it's looking like we might not even need it. And they were just blocked away. Corner to Brentford with about 8 minutes to go. Crossed in for Brentford. And Taylor, I mean Taylor had the ball there, just giving it away right on the edge of the box. Brentford have still got it messing around on our outside. Oh, and he's just put it wide. Another corner for Brentford here, five minutes to play. Cleared away, Grant on the ball. No, I mean no one's after that whatsoever. Taylor's just jogging behind him, I know everyone's getting tired but we've still got to put the workload in. We've still got the ball though from their clearance. And Grant's through on goal if we can take his time this time. And there we go, 2-1 with four minutes to play. Third goal of the season for Carl and Grant. Brilliant ball over the top. Wonderful, wonderful chance to take this now. You see Jamie Ward had a good couple of games for us so far this season. Through for Grant and this time he wasn't going to mess about with missing that. Right, we're into the 89th minute now. There are four minutes added on, which is typical. Typical as you're hanging on. There are four minutes. We'll have to soak up a little bit of pressure for the last four as we change our, our stance to a more defensive stance. Remove any shouts. And encourage them just to hold on to this for three minutes.
cleared away by Jed Steer. Bellick on the ball now. Solly. We don't want to be giving it away there. No, that's just wide. We'll make our last sub. Have a look at taking Colin Grant off. Nicky Jose. Can come on. He's just come back from injury. Just give him a couple of minutes just to run out. And uh, take a few more seconds off the clock. Throwing for Brentford. Cleared. And Jamie Ward. He hasn't chased that down. Still a minute to go. I've just got to soak up this pressure now that we're expecting from Brentford. We're already an attacking side and we expected to have a lot of pressure throughout the game. But the last minute, we are expecting them to just pile on that pressure. But Lyle Taylor's got some room to run. To Nicky and Jose. There's a good tackle there. And just cleared away. 30 seconds to hold on. Bellick with a throw in and just giving it away. No challenge there, but Sar's got it and he's drawn the foul. Just seconds to go now. The referee's got to be looking at his watch. Jamie Ward to swing the free kick in. Prattley's got it. Risky play here, but we've got we were 30 seconds over time already. And there we go. From a cracking win at the start of the season against Sunderland to a difficult draw at home to Shrewsbury last weekend um, to now a fantastic away win away at Brentford in the Carabao Cup first round. That's a much better end to this game than we uh, we probably really expected. We knew Brentford were going to be the favourites, obviously the stronger team in the Championship. But we have managed to get our name into that hat, ready for the second round. So we'll send our assistant to the uh, press conference for us. As you can see, our next game is three days away at Accrington Stanley. We will skip through to Thursday and look at the Carabao Cup second round draw and see who we're facing there. So as more and more Premier League teams, it'll be obviously interesting for us to uh, take on a Premier League team. So we've skipped the draw. And we are at home to the Wolves. That's that's going to be a very, very tricky game. Especially the challenge that Brentford have just given us. So, as you can see, there we go. Drawn Wolves and that will be played on the 29th of August. That's just over, just under, sorry, two weeks uh, yesterday. So, coming up in the next video for us, we will have uh, League One games at... Accrington Stanley and then three days after that we will have our second home game of the season at home to Peterborough. Peterborough so far this season have uh, taken all three all the points uh, from games so far so they're sitting at second with six points just behind Fleetwood. We take on Fleetwood after Peter but that'll be another video so I hope you've enjoyed watching the video thank you very much for your time. I will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.